Hello everyone, it's Asad the Games. Today I will show you how you can import a GLTF file to default. For this, we will create a new project and when creating, we will select the basic 3D project. Now, when the project is created, we will go to our main collection. I will select one of the models, press F to focus on. If you want to look at this in 3D, press Ctrl and use right click to move it around. Now if I use Ctrl B to play the scene, you will see that there are 3D models. Now what we want is to get this GIT file into the default and we want them to be visible and play the animations. For this, you can just copy this and paste them in the asset folder right here. I will paste them. Now on the asset folders, you can see the GLTF files. I will delete these models. We don't need this. So I will delete this too. On the main, I will right click, add component, select model. For the model, I will select the character, GLTF. You can select the same skeleton and animations. We can see the animations, but it will ask for a bunch of textures. If you try to play the game, it will ask you to specify the materials, but we don't have them. So we will do a few things on Blender. On the Blender, press A, press X and delete everything. File, import, select GLTF. Select the GLTF file you want to import. Now, on the file, select all the meshes you have. Press Tab to go into the edit mode. Press U and Smart UV Project. Set the island margin to 0 0.015 and unwrap. Go to the UV editing. You will see that it's unwrapped. Press U button. Name it Baked Textures. And new image. Now we have this. We will be using it. Go to the shading tab. You will see that the model have a bunch of textures. Press Shift A and type image. And you will see that image texture pops up. On the node, select the image and select the big textures. Now click on the node and Ctrl C to copy it. We will go to our object. On each mesh, you will see that it has textures and make sure each texture have this the same node with big texture selected. Now, since all of them have it, select all the meshes. Here, select the render. Change the render engine to cycles. Scroll down and find the bake. On the bake, set the bake type to diffuse. And for the contributions, unselect the direct and undirect. We will only need the color here. And bake. It will bake all the texture on this UV image. You can check to see if there are any overflows. If you don't set the island margin to 0 0.015 and leave it as zero, there will be some overflowing and it will cause problems, but this seems fine. Everything is 
on its place. Now what we need to do is click on the image and save this. We will save this on our default project and I will save it here. Now on the character we need to make sure we only use the UV textures. So again click on one of the textures, go to the shading tab and click this button to create a new material. Name it back texture. Now connect the color with base color. And as you can see, we have changed the texture here, but it looks the same. Now what we need to do is to make sure we only have back texture here. So select each textures and switch them with back textures. Now our model only uses this texture and since we have it on our project, we will be able to use it easily. Right now what we need to do is go to File, Export, select GLB and name it Baked Character and Export. Now on the project, instead of this many textures, we will select our baked character. And we will only need to select one texture. First, we need to set a material. Let's first go with the default model that material. Now, if we select the baked textures, as you can see, we will be able to see the player properly. We also have another texture. I am not sure why we have this. It probably is about how the model is designed. And the gun is a separate game object. Probably this is for gun. So let's again select the model. And as you can see, the gun is all black. If you select the back textures, now they will all be visible. Now, if I press Ctrl B to play it to see if we have our animation. We will see that we only have the gun being animated, but the player is not. We can change the animation and the same. That's because we use bone animation with our player, but we have selected the model that material. We should change this to some of the skinned options. You can go with model skinned or model skinned instanced. I will go with model skinned. Now it will not have any visual change, but if I play the game, you will see that animations are actually being played. With games, we will change the animations via code. But for now, all we need to do is to make sure we have our model imported properly and have the textures and animations. And it works. The reason why we weren't able to see the player being animated before we selected the skin is because even with the model that material is selected, the animation is actually being played, but because it's not skinned, the bone animation is not applied to the meshes and you do not see the mesh move. If you want to make the meshes move, you need to select the model that skinned or skinned and instanced. And that's it. That's how you can import a GLB file to default, apply textures and play animations with it. If you have any question, you can ask in the comment section. I will share this project on my itch.io page. You can download it from there. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.